So as you can see here, I have two gigs of memory. Let me zoom in for there. There you go. So I have two gigs of memory. Now depending on what kind of motherboard and this is inside your MacBook, you it will support up to four gigs or three gigs. Now if you purchased your MacBook anytime before November 2007, then you probably have a pre-Santa Rosa motherboard. And what that means is there's a software, so not, excuse me, a hardware limitation that will prevent you from accessing above three gigs of memory. You may be able to put in four gigs, but you will only be able to use three. Now, if you bought your MacBook after November 2007, you'll have the Santa Rosa motherboard, and this supports up to four gigs of memory. Mine is was bought in uh, early 2008, and it is a Santa Rosa motherboard, and I will be putting in four gigs of memory. So as for memory, I ordered mine off of Newegg. It cost me $56, including shipping. It took three days. So I would say go to Newegg and purchase your memory. Okay, so let me show you what I bought. So here's the packaging it came in. It's pretty sturdy, reliable. I cut the box so I could show you what it looks like when I open it. I know some people don't care, but packaging is very important when getting electronic equipment. And I've always been satisfied with new egg stuff. Here's some junk that I really don't care about. And my memory should be in here. And those are the two two gig uh, dims and once again this is iram so here's the memory that i removed from the packaging it's nice it's easy to remove none of the nasty cuts that i need to do on the packaging of certain other products just pop it open and your ram is accessible gotta give it up to iram i really like them all right so moving on to the next step as you can see my mac is on we need to shut this down so I've now turned off my MacBook. I'm going to flip it over. You see this little coin slot down here? Well, we're going to insert a coin there and the battery will pop out. So take any type of currency that you have. It doesn't have to be American, but just twist it. And you'll notice that the battery pop popped up a little bit right here. And there you go. Your battery is now removed. So I went ahead using one of these screwdrivers. Make sure you have a really small one. I unscrewed the screw here, here, and here. These three. Now this is an L-shaped bracket mount that will pop out. So all you have to do is go into the back here. Take it out nice and gently. There you go. And then, there you go. See how easy that was? Don't force it, you might break something. Now, this thing here and this thing here are, will release the memory inside, which will be the two, the two 1 GB dims. So let's go ahead and pull on them. So there you go. So I can just get that. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand. Yeah, so I popped it out. Come on. And I'm right-handed. <laughs> okay. There you go. I got the one dim. Now, very important, do not touch the gold connectors. So what I'll do here is just, just move this L bracket off, place this one here. Similarly, go here, pop this one. There you go. Those are my old memories. Here are the new ones. See, it says 2GB DDR. Make sure you buy the right bus speed. I looked online and I verified on Apple site that these are the correct ones. So I went ahead and popped the memory out. So remember, do not touch the gold connectors. Very bad. All right, so flip it over because that's how we pulled out the memory. Take it down here and gently slide it in. So all you have to do is push it in. And you will... 
tear apart. Well, I assume that it went in. If you're always unsure, you can always do that. Pop it back out, squeeze it back in. I heard on some reviews that they were talking about, you should hear a clicking sound, but I'm making so much noise over here, I can't even hear it. So best way to do it is just put it in, push it. Mine necessarily doesn't make a click, but I could hear the sound of the connectors making, making contact. Now my memory's in and I have these two extra one gig a piece. I'm going to put those inside that for the time being and I'm going to leave the L bracket out for the moment. Go ahead and put this, slide this in. And I guess I do need it because these things would have come in the way. So let's go ahead and push this down in here. Come on. Oh, I need to do it. Please slide it in. Come on. All right, well, I'm going to put down the camera and push this in correctly because I think I need my two hands. So, as you can see, I've got the L bracket screwed back in. Unfortunately, I had to put down the camera so I couldn't show you what I was doing. Here's the battery. Battery just goes in this way first. Remember, slide it in like that. Drop it down. And then you need to take that nickel or penny or whatever you have. And then you're going to twist it as you push down. Okay? So just put the battery back in. And then we'll power it up. So as you can see, I pushed the battery in locked it into position, I'm ready to go ahead and power this baby up. Flip over your Mac, flip the lid, press power. Hopefully it'll boot up. That's your first sign. If it doesn't boot up, then you've done something wrong. Now you must be all wondering what this is on the side. This is my iPhone 8G. I got the nice case on there and I'll review that later but for now this is what I'm going to be talking about and it's doing its magic all right bring up the screen awesome so let me go ahead and log in here if you give me a second Systems up and running. Go to the Apple button on the top left here. Select that. Choose about this Mac. And voila. We went from four gig, two gigs to four gigs. And now if I go to the system profiler button down here, which I've added to my dock, you and that's such a beautiful thing to see. I have a lot of memory. I'm very happy. Since I run VMware and a lot of other distros on top of my Mac, this will really help me out. All right, thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions or you need help with setting up your Mac, MacBook, uh, Mac Pro, Final Cut questions, feel free to ask me iPhone questions. I'm here. I've been in uh, the computer business for quite some time and I'm well versed. Alright, thank you. And please rate this video. Tell me what you think. Bye.